Hey guys, so today is a special video. Me and Ingrid, also known as Miss Glamorazzi, are going to be showing you two picture day looks. And make sure you go check out her channel. I have it linked below and at the end because we did a video on her channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started into the tutorial. Believe the something special. So first I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Blemish Control Primer. So I'm going to apply that all over my face with my fingers to make sure that my foundation lasts. And then I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and I'm just taking my fingers and applying this all over my face. And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. So I just got this beauty blender wet and I'm just going to rub it all over my face blending it in. I love how this works on my skin. It just blends it in perfectly and it doesn't soak up too much of the coverage and you can definitely build it with this. I'm just in love with it. So I'm just patting that in and rubbing rub it until it's all covered. So then I'm taking the Revlon Colorstay concealer and I'm taking this all over my blemishes. So any like specific spots that aren't being covered by the foundation, I'm just just going to go over and cover it up and use my finger to pat that in. Down the Using the Age Rewind Concealer, I'm using this underneath my eyes to brighten them up a bit because it's a little bit lighter. And so I'm just taking that, dragging it underneath my eyes, and then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again, but I'm going to take the side that's pointy, you know, the little tip of it, and I'm just going to like roll it and pat it and use different motions because I love how it works, like I already said. <laughs> Now with the Revlon Color Stay Powder, I'm just going to use this to set my face, taking a big powder brush to lock it all in place and to make sure you're not shiny, especially with the big lights on you. It can really make you look even oilier than you are. Then I'm taking the NYC Bronzer and just sculpting my face because you don't want your face to look completely flat and white in your picture because that will tend to happen. So I'm just using some bronzer to sculpt my face out to make it have more dimensions in it. Then the Tarte. Amazonian Clay Blush in Blissful. I'm applying this to my cheeks to give me a little bit more color and make me more vibrant. And then the brow pencil, this is from Anastasia. I'm just filling in my brows a little. I think when your eyebrows look good, it can totally change the look and make you look even better. So that's what I'm doing. Then taking the NARS eye primer. And I'm just gonna prep my eyelids and prime them so my eyeshadow will stay on and not crease. And I'm just blending that in with my finger because, you know, that's what you do. <laughs> and this is the Stila in the Light Palette. And I'm taking these two first colors and I'm blending them together to make sure that it's not too shimmery but not too matte. And I'm just applying that to my lid for the perfect color. Now taking just the shimmery color, I'm gonna apply that to my inner corners of my eyes to brighten them up and make it look more awake. Then I'm defining my crease with the color Bliss, just on a fluffy dome-shaped brush, and I'm just going to apply that into my crease to give it a little bit of color, but not anything too dramatic. Then the matte light color, I'm going to apply that underneath my brow to lift my brow up a little bit and highlight it. Then taking my DHC liquid eyeliner, I'm going to attempt to do this on camera, but you know it never works out, so poof, there it is. <laughs> then I'm going to curl my eyelashes, and... Just me curl my eyelashes. <laughs> then I'm using the False Fiber Lash Mascara as my mascara. So I'm just going to apply a couple coats of this because I really want my eyelashes to stand out because I have really short eyelashes. And then I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes too. And that is my eyes. Voila. <laughs> and then I'm taking the Smoochies Sweet Tweet. And I'm in love with these Smoochies. They are perfect. And that is my final look. I'm obsessed with it. It's pretty natural, but it brings out all your best features. So yeah. Hello everyone, it's Ingrid, and I'm going to be going over my picture day look with you guys. So I'm starting off with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. I already have this on, and this is my favorite foundation for photos because it doesn't give you that white cast across your face. And then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer, and I'm just kind of dotting this underneath my eyes to brighten up the area a bit. Once I'm finished concealing those dark circles, I'm going to set everything with a mattifying powder, and this one is from Chanel. It's one of my favorites, and I just love how it gives you a little bit of coverage, and it also gets rid of shine, which is amazing, especially for photos, because you don't want to look shiny. And then I'm going to fill in my brows, because it's always good to just define them a little bit. And then after filling them in, I want the shape to stay in place, so I like using a clear mascara, and this one is from Maybelline. It's like 
$5, super cheap and easy to use, and it makes your brows look nice and groomed. Then it's time for eye primer, using my favorite one from NARS, and this is great if you have super oily eyelids like I do, it will keep your eyeshadows in place all day. And then for a base, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Bad to the Bronze Color Tattoo, and I'm just putting a light layer of this over my lids to create a nice tacky base for the eyeshadows. And then over the top, I'm actually going to be using a matte color from the Naked Basics palette and putting this over the top, just kind of like a sheer wash. And the combination of the shimmery base and the matte eyeshadow looks really nice. So it's not too shimmery and it's not matte and you get a little bit, bleh, you get a little bit of dimension out of it. And next, I'm using Rice Paper from MAC, which is a really great inner corner highlight color, but it's not too shimmery either. And then I'm using one of my new favorite eyeliners. This is Corrupt from Urban Decay. And this is one of their 24-7 eyeliners that just stays on all day long. It's a nice natural brown color. And then I'm taking this darker brown color from the Naked Basics palette and putting this along my lower lash line to kind of define things a little bit. Curl in my lashes because that's just what you do. And then putting on some black eyeliner onto my upper inner rims and finishing off the eyes with some mascara. So I'm using the Falsies Flared from Maybelline. And then I like using on my bottom lashes the Clinique Bottom Lash, which is amazing, especially if you have a problem with mascara smudging. This stuff will stay on all day long, like for reals. Now it is time for blush, and I'm using another one of my favorites. This is Luminoso from Milani, and I've used this so much, it's like not even funny. And this is great because it just gives you a nice little glow. And for bronzer, I'm using Benefits Hula, so I'm just applying this in the 3B shape. Now in photos, when it comes to lip color, I like to go a little bit brighter than my natural lip color. So I'm using this pink one from Jiwei. This is Whitney. And then over the top, I'm using the Hibiscus Lip Gloss. And I'm not using too much because you don't want your lips to look overly shiny in photos. And that is it for my finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Voila, so those are our looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And go head over to Ingrid's channel. You can click the screen to see the video that we made on her channel. Back to school advice. It was really awesome. And if you are not subscribed to Ingrid already, which most of you guys probably are, but you need to subscribe. Her videos are awesome. And yeah, go watch.